and the red, white, and blue. Beautiful. Oh, darling, I never dreamed it would be like this. Tell me that you love me. I do, I do. How can you doubt it? I want this moment to go on forever while you hold me and hold me and hold me. Shut. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, have you any idea how a director feels when he's shooting a love scene and he calls action and the cameraman falls asleep? All right, everybody. Wake up and take five. <laughs> Mr. Cheney, I don't think you should single me out like this. I mean, I I'm doing my very best. Darling, not that I'm the type who counts, but that was take number 15. But still, if I... If Furthermore, I, I have seen more passion in Alaskan travelogues. What are you trying to do? Make love. Terrific. You could have found it in. But I am trying, Mr. Cheney. I really, really am. All right, all right, all right. Let, let, let's be calm. Sit down, darling. Sit down, please. Here, sit. Sweetheart, I selected you for this part because you have a very appealing, fresh, natural quality. And it worked beautifully right up until the love scene, and then suddenly nothing blanks. Well, why is it? I've never had that kind of experience, Mr. Cheney. Are you telling me you have never had any experience with men? Break for lunch! <laughs> How can this be? There was a girl in Peru, only 14 years old, and she already had quadruplets. Maybe you should have gotten her for the pie. Or at least technical advisor. <laughs> What is that? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Stanley, I'll just be a few minutes more. How long have you known each other? Oh, for a long time. Uh, like from nursery school. We took our naps together. This was a good start. Where did you go wrong? <laughs> I don't understand. But hasn't he ever... Kissed you? If you'll pardon the expression. Of course he's kissed me. Many times. Many times? In person? Of course. Then he says goodnight, and I go into the house, and he goes home and does push-ups. He kisses you, then goes home and does push-ups. Uh, would you like to meet him? Definitely not. But I wouldn't miss it for the world. Listen, uh, you and Elizabeth have been uh, going together for quite some time, have you not? Yeah, uh, since nursery school. Well, there are certain emotional responses that most people have in such relationship, and evidently you two don't, and this is why she can't act out a love scene. She's suffering from a passion gap. A passion gap? <laughs> let, let me back it up one more time. 
You've heard about the birds and the bees, haven't you? Of course, but I, I don't see how... Suddenly, it's time Elizabeth discovered why the birds are always singing. <laughs> Mr. Cheney, I would never consider such a thing until after we're married. Then get married. We intend to. How about this afternoon? What? Right after lunch. Listen, I'll shoot around that till you get back from your honeymoon, say, at uh, 3.30. Elizabeth and I will be married when we are psychologically ready, no matter how long it takes. You will be the cutest couple in senior city. Mr. Cheney, I feel sorry for you. Stanley, don't you understand? I'm only trying to help you to help her. Mr. Cheney, I absolutely refuse to participate in any venture whatsoever all right, all right, that all right, all involves... All right, all right, listen, Stanley. <laughs> Look, let's forget it. All Elizabeth needs is just a little relaxation, you know? Mr. Cheney? I'm giving Elizabeth the afternoon off. They will shoot around her. You two just go and take it easy somewhere. Thank you, Mr. Cheney. But don't forget to have her back here by 8 o'clock sharp. We're doing some night sh okay. What is it? Well, the schedule will be here tonight. The place will be empty. Exactly. Get a couch moved in. For a love scene? I hope so, Charlie. I sincerely hope so. <laughs> A double fracture, are you sure? That's what the x-rays show. I, I guess he's in a pretty bad way. How can we shoot that love scene tomorrow when the leading man has his leg in a cast? I guess we're really in bad trouble. What's happened? Where is everyone? Ah, oh, we had to close down. Earl Harvey broke his leg, tripped over a dolly. But how could a grown man break his leg just by tripping over a dolly? The camera dolly. Oh, please, see he has everything he needs. Yes. <coughs> Poor Earl, how terrible. And it's gonna be terrible for you too, cutie. Without a leading man, we'll have to scrap the picture and... There goes your big break. Oh, Mr. Cheney, there must be something you can do. Sure, replace him. But where do I get a handsome, virile, Paul Newman type by tomorrow morning? Where? Sounds impossible. Gee, I sure feel sorry for you, Elizabeth. And for you too, Mr. Cheney. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I, I just got carried away for a moment. <laughs> Mr. Cheney, hmm? would you mind telling us what you're doing? Well, it's probably too ridiculous to even discuss, but I just had the crazy notion that Paul here, excuse me, I mean Stanley, could play the part. Me? Stanley! <laughs> You're kidding, I'm not an actor. <laughs> Stand up! Hook your thumbs in your belt, Stanley. What? Hook your thumbs in your belt. Yeah, in your belt. Now, slump over a little bit. That's it, slump over a little bit and cock your head to one side. That's it. And say, Sundance! I feel those serene drops have fallen on my head. <laughs> see this. Wait, see this. Sundance, I feel those raindrops falling on my head. Stanley! <laughs> You're an animal! Judy, come here. Come here, feel those goosebumps. Did you feel that with those icy fingers up and down your spine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's dynamite. <laughs> You're a natural stand, baby. You've got the looks, the brains, the perfect body control. Oh, please, please, let me see that Paul Newman thing once again. <laughs> now, the idea here is to live the scene. Don't just act it. Stanley, put your arm around Elizabeth. All right, Elizabeth, read your lines. 
Darling, I never dreamed it would be like this. Tell me that you love me. Tell me that you love me. Tell me. Say something! Sundance, I feel those raindrops falling on my head. as easy as it looks. I want to be sure you got it right. <laughs> JB, Cheney here. Regular cast call for 7.30. And don't worry about the girl. She'll be quite all right. <laughs> as a matter of fact, she'll be sensational. <laughs> I don't believe it. I told you. He always does this, and just at the wrong time. Mr. Cheney, I've had it. That's what? And don't try to tell me I'm an actor, because I'm not. No, just a moment. And I don't believe in that kind of rehearsing until after people are married. Stanley, please. And I don't think you should either, Elizabeth. Stanley, please come back. I'm going home to do my push-ups on a clean floor. Call me when you've come to your senses. He does it every time. It's so heartbreaking. And poor you. What are you going to do about an actor? Ah, oh, that's all right. Earl Harvey will be okay. He took some miracle drugs. For a broken leg? Yeah, they're doing wonderful things with medicine today. Well, I guess I better go memorize my lines. Maybe if I apologize to Stanley, he'll help me. Uh, perhaps I could uh, help you with your lines. Oh, no, you're such a busy man. I couldn't possibly impose it. Well, it's for the good of the picture. But you must have plans for the evening. It means you'd have to cancel them. Dead showbiz. Sacrifice, uh, long hours, hard work. Really, it's very nice of you. Let us begin. And we'll keep working until we get it right. Tell me you love me. Tell me over and over and over. I want this moment to last forever while you hold me. Great, huh, Mr. Cheney? <laughs> 